back with another one, man, by way of fight hype. I got a special, special guest in the building today, man. What up? This guy right here, this guy right here man, is the definition of hard work. 23 straight wins in a row. Had a had a no contest with a guy who was doing things that he wasn't supposed to be doing. But yeah. former, former IBFW, IBF World Super Weight for the uh, weight champion, Tevin Former. How's it going, big dog? What's up, man? How you doing, man? I can't complain, man. I can't complain, man. My guy was telling me, man, that you had some stuff that you wanted to like get off your uh, your, your chest, man. Maybe like a special announcement, man. So the floor is all yours, big dog. Well. You know, I told everybody in 2024, um, I'm I'm coming to take my spot back, and um, I'm I'm coming for the big names. Um, I need all the smoke. I want all the work. So you know, I've been seeing Ryan Garcia lately, looking for opponents, and they haven't been coming through. Roley fell through. Um, he already fought Javante. Um, Tio Fimo, Devin Haney, none of them available. Um, Tevin Former, when I move up two weight classes, I want that work. So you're telling us right now that you're willing to move up two weight classes from yeah. 130 to 140 to take on Ryan Garcia? Yeah, 100%. Okay. What 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 makes Ryan the guy for you right now? What, at this moment, 2024 January, what makes Ryan the right guy for you? I mean, this year I already said, if I can't get the world title, I want the world title shot, so... Ryan is a big name, and he's good to put on my resume. And you know, I want to start. I want to start getting these big names. That was Tevin Farmer, former hundred and thirty pound champion. He is telling us that he wants all the smoke with Ryan Garcia. So he he believes that he. Is ready for a fight with Ryan Garcia. Now let me say this. Tevin Farmer is one of the same dudes that was supposed to fight Javante Tank Davis a few years back. For some reason, the fight never happened. Floyd never let the fight happen. Whoever else handles Tank never let it happen. And I'm until this day, I'm puzzled because I'm like, okay, why? And the argument would have been, well. Who's Tevin Farmer? He don't bring no money. He don't bring in no money. That, that's probably, that would have been the argument right there. That would have been the argument right there. He don't bring in no money. And I'm like, come on, cut it out, bro. But he's a good fighter. Great skills. But uh, he not known for his punching power. Let me pull up his box rec. Wait, let me see here. I got the box rec right here. Tevin Farmer. Let me let me see what his record is looking like right now. <laughs> All right, Tevin Farmer, thirty-two wins, five losses, one draw, seven wins by knockout. So my man had out of all his wins only seven knockouts. He been knocked out twice. Uh. He's been knocked, he was knocked out earlier in his career. Jose Pedraza knocked him out in the last round of their fight. And then he got knocked out in his first fight. <laughs> he got knocked out in the last round of his fourth fight. That's crazy. I've never heard somebody get knocked out. Well, I have. I'm tripping. I've seen a few fighters' uh, records where they've been knocked out in the first round. But somebody that's supposed to be promising like Tevin Farmer, that's kind of odd. But yeah. Uh, he got a, 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 a lot of experience. Like, he has some good fights, fighters on his record. You know, Jojo Diaz, you know, uh, that was a good fight. For a second, was a pretty good fight. That was a good name on his resume. I have a red cash way back in 2016. He went the distance with him. So, I mean, Tevin Farmer's resume, eh, you know, it's like, well, damn, I'm sorry. Yeah, his debut. Yeah, he got knocked out in his debut fight. That's crazy. Yeah, hey, Jose Pedraza, he fought way back in 2012. I mean, his resume is pretty much a mixed bag, to be honest. Uh, but check it, man. He's pretty much, I don't know why he wanted to come back and fight Ryan out of all, go up two weight classes. 
damn, these dudes with the, it's it's obvious what's going on here. He trying to chase the money where the money is at. Uh, does this mean that he's suffering? You know, he's running low on money. I don't know because I saw a documentary a while back that he had some good businesses going out there with his girl, uh, Philly. So I don't know. Maybe he just want to come back and just he, he you know get a nice big big bag. Is that the road getting a big bag, man? And he just want to maybe he, maybe he's bored. Maybe he just want to come back and get back in the ring. He did fight twice last year though. I didn't even know he had a fight last year. He had two fights. I know he fought Avery Sparrow. I remember that one earlier last year. I didn't know he fought in September against some guy named Oscar Barajas. I guess that was a, you know, a, a feel-good fight. He knocked dude out in the sixth round out of eight rounds. This fight was at 100. To, I think that was a... a, a uh, it says here he was at 132 and dude came in at 133. So that was either a fight at 130 at uh, 135 pounds or it was like a catch weight. I don't know. <clears throat> but then he fought Avery Sparrow earlier last year. That fight was at 136. So I'm assuming all of that was at 140 pounds. So he's, he's he gained some weight. He's getting older. He's 33 years old, but he has a 21% knockout ratio. Him fighting Ryan Garcia, man. I mean, to be honest, he he did have two fights last year, so he's he he knocked off a little bit of rust. Uh, he don't have a puncher's chance. That's not gonna happen. He could possibly outbox Ryan. He'd be a little bit more durable at 140. Uh, like I said, he hasn't been knocked out. Lately, you know, his knockouts came early on in his career. Since then, Tevin Farmer has honed his skills. His his is an outboxer, man. He's pretty much a pure boxer. Damn good boxer too. He just don't have any punching power. So I don't think he's gonna hurt Ryan Garcia, especially not at 140 pounds. So his best bet would be to, you know, move around the whole fight. <laughs> that's that's his best bet, bro. Move around the whole fight. And trying to get caught with that left hook. He's he's older now. He probably moves around a little bit slower than he usually does. Uh, he hasn't had any real good solid competition to really test him. Uh, more than likely, he, he would probably get stopped in this fight. He would probably get stopped if he fought Ryan Garcia. Ryan's probably just too big, too strong. And he's probably too fast for him. He probably, like I said, Tevin... Yeah, he's been boxed. He boxed twice, but against who? Who's Avery Sparrow? Who's the other dude he knocked out? That's, you know, he knocked off some rust, but it's not really pushing him. So, I, and look, I, I, I applaud him for wanting to come back and fight. He's only 33 years old. You know, I mean, most of the, most boxers, I mean, their lifespan, I mean, he's 33. Most boxers around, like, what, 36, 35 that's when they really start slowing down and thinking about hanging it up. He probably just want to come back and get in like another quick big bag. He don't see nobody down at 130. But I'm like, bro, you got you got some other fights, bro, you can try to make. I I, I think he don't want to talk about Tank because Tank already ducked him. And, and I'm like, I don't know why, man. I guess because Tank probably could have outboxed him back then. Maybe they knew that. I mean, he could have probably outboxed Tank. And they probably didn't want that would, would take it look bad. When you think about it, Tevin is not some dude that's gonna stand right there in front of Tank and fight. He one of them dudes that if you look back on the resume of Tank, you ain't gonna see hardly any dudes like that that can move around with good footwork. And he's not gonna stand there and let Tank be able to pick shots against him and press him and make a bad mistake. It's not gonna happen with Tevin Farmer. So that's why. Tevin is almost like a Shakur kind of Shakur Stevenson type fighter a little bit, you know, that kind of style. But yeah, yeah, he's one of these boxers that could possibly mess up your parade, man. And I think that's why a lot of these dudes be trying to avoid a lot of these type of fighters like Tevin Farmer, bro. But hey, look, if you want to come back and fight Ryan, I say cool, let's see it. But damn, who else could he fight down there at the lower classes of his weight classes? Ain't really no smoke at 134 like that. 
I would love to see him fight like a Gary Russell Jr. That would have been a pretty good fight. Uh, moving up to 135, I mean, shit, at least 135. You got Shakur's up there. That's a pretty decent fight for him. Make him a nice bit of change. But he going after Ryan. I'm trying to figure out, okay, why? And, I, and, and like I said, I guess he feel like Ryan is the next biggest money maker up there from 130, from 140 and under is Ryan going to see him besides Tank Davis. And he wouldn't want to fight Shakur because Shakur would probably be too much of an issue for him as far as the moving around and stuff. See, even boxers that move around don't want to fight other boxers that move around. It's crazy. But just my take, man. Shout out to Seven Farmer, though. He said 2024 he wanted to take over his spot. Bro, what I'm trying to figure out, bro, how you going to take over 140, bro? You ain't got the power. And, you know, maybe you'll have a little bit more weight. You'll be a little bit more durable up there, but you're not, you're not bringing no thunder. Maybe, though. Maybe Tevin is one of these dudes, right, that he moves up in weight, he gets stronger. We'll, we'll see, right? You know, who knows? He he could be one of these dudes that his power don't get unlocked till he gets to, like, 140, 147. Who knows, bro? But shout out to Tevin Farmer, though, man. We'll see where he goes with it. Let me know what y'all think. Yo, this is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later on the next one. And I'm off this.